Becoming a liquidity provider for a decentralized exchange such as Uniswap or any of Uniswap's subsequent forks can be one of the most lucrative ways to invest your crypto and also one of the safest if done right. What's up, crypto enthusiasts? Welcome back to Why Staking. My name is Peter, and today we are going to go through liquidity providing and how to do it safely, how to earn the most with your crypto. Now, liquidity providing is sending money to a decentralized exchange. You're sending two assets there. So you can see all of these pools are two assets, and they're perfectly balanced assets. There's equal values of both sides of the pot, and that allows people to trade it back and forth. Every time people trade from one side to the other, the price shifts ever so slightly, depending on how much liquidity is there. The more liquidity, the less the price shifts. And this is one of the safest things that you can do to invest your crypto if you're investing in good cryptocurrencies. Now, there is one safer way to invest, and that would be just investing one asset. So you can invest stable coins, Ethereum, wrapped Bitcoin, pretty much any cryptocurrency. You can go to protocols like Aave and Compound, deposit them, and be able to trustlessly earn some interest um, in, in a decentralized way. And so that's just about the safest thing you can do. There's not much that can go wrong when you're just investing that one crypto. Your biggest risk is that one crypto going down in value versus the US dollar. Now, when you're providing liquidity, you're doing something a little bit more complicated because you're investing in two assets, two assets at the same time, and they are linked to each other. The reason they're linked to each other is because they're a trading pool. And if the value of one side of that pool goes down, it's going to bring the other side with it. And that is what's called impermanent loss. So this visualizes what impermanent loss is like. We have a starting point that's net zero. So whatever, whatever you invest, you're at net zero uh, gains or losses when you start. If one token, if one side of that pool gets sold down, you can see here's zero percent well, here's the starting percent. Here would be selling it down to $0. As that one side loses value and people sell it, your entire investment goes down. And you can see that uh, if it goes down 50%, you're losing about 10% value. If you, this looks like about 75%, you would lose 20% value on your entire portfolio. And then it gets exponentially worse as it goes down. So you want to make super sure that whatever you're investing in isn't going to be a token that's going to lose more than 50% of its value because there's a steep drop off after that from impermanent loss where your entire investment, both sides that you're investing in that pool are going to go down. However, if you invest in good cryptocurrencies, there's many pools that are very safe and you can mitigate some of this risk by investing in pools that are one half stable coin and then another asset so for instance uh, usdt tether and then and then ether is is one pool that you could invest in so then you really don't have to worry about the stable coin the stable coin is going to stay pegged to one dollar however and so it's just like investing in just ether and you'll have impermanent loss if it goes down um Ether going down 90%, probably that would be a very rare event. That's probably not going to happen anytime too soon. Um, and you're probably a lot safer from impermanent loss in something like that. So there's a lot of benefits to becoming a liquidity provider. First are the fees. So if we go to the swap, you can see that uh, if, you, if you wanted to trade, let's do Matic for quick. And you can see that as the transaction gets bigger, you can see, well, there's the price impact. And that is from the effect on the pool because all the pools are balanced. And so we're unbalancing them every time we buy and, and the price shifts to compensate. But you can see liquidity provider fees right here. So in this transaction, I'm paying a 0.3% fee, which goes to the liquidity providers, whoever is providing this liquidity for the pools. So liquidity provider fees from people trading are one benefit there's also the benefit of just the assets going up in value but you would have had that value anyway just from holding those assets to begin with so it's really just the fees and then also the exchange itself will often offer bonuses 
on top of the fee. So that's what this is right here in the rewards tab. And you can see that these are the ones that I'm participating in and I'm earning a little bit of quick tokens per day. And now quick tokens are currently $159 each. And so you can see this is actually generating a decent amount of money per day. So my risk is from the, the price of the assets going down and impermanent loss. My reward are the fees from trading, from people trading in the pool back and forth, and these extra rewards that the exchange is providing. And this exchange is providing it because I'm trading on their exchange. I could have put my money anywhere. This could be on Uniswap right now, but I brought it to the, to the Matic Polygon network and I put it on QuickSwap because they are offering these fees and uh, these, uh, excuse me, these, in, these quick incentives. Um, and that can be a very lucrative, uh, very lucrative thing to do. And, um, you know, without doing the math right here, uh, this pool resets every Sunday to 75% ROI, and this pool resets to 180% ROI. And that is pretty significant, and that is worth the risk to a lot of people. But there's one thing in particular that's special about Wise Token that makes it a really premier candidate for liquidity providing. And that is the fact that, that uh, WISE is backed by Ether and it has a price floor in Ether. So if we go back to our permanent and permanent loss chart, really the, the risk is when things go down by more than 50%. Um, that is that that's really significant and you start to lose a ton of value but wise actually has this massive locked pool you can see 270 million dollars worth of a half ether and half wise that this is locked liquidity and this actually creates a price floor for us so that even if all the wise were sold um, there would there would still be wise left there would still be a price floor and if we look at the exact statistics, we can see that the price floor is 41 cents in Ether. That's 0 0.0001697 in Ether, which is 21.99% below the current price. So we'll just say 22% below the current price. So if we look at our impermanent loss chart and we say that, okay, Ys can go down 22% versus Ether. So if this is 100%, this is 50%, 22% is about right here. And so you can see that uh, that's only a little sliver right here. Here's 20%. This is 10%. Here's 5%. So this is like 1% or 2% from impermanent loss, meaning that no matter if people are selling, like everyone can sell wise. Like it gets way better if people are buying wise. But even if the worst case scenario happened in wise and it were sold down versus Ether, I'm only going to be losing a max of a couple percent uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to impermanent loss. So if I'm so if I'm providing for this ether wise pool, it's really like a like an ether ether pool because the wise can only go down versus ether a little bit. So you're protected against impermanent loss. So that one to two percent impermanent loss that gets completely negated by the fees, completely negated because right now the fees are earning. 10% ROI. And I'll, I'm going to show you that right here. Now, I switched around my pools. Now, if you, if you go to uh, matic.apy.vision, I have a pro account right here. To get a pro account, you actually have to provide liquidity right here. About uh, uh, $1,700 worth of liquidity for the, for the Vision ETH to be able to get the pro account. And I did that so you can see. And this tracks all the liquidity pools, the liquidity pool gains, and the net market gains. So this, so here you can see here's the my starting ETH and my starting Wise, and I just switched this pool yesterday. So these are only 24 hour results. I wish I hadn't switched it around yesterday because, um, you know, I had data from the last two weeks, and it was it, it was like hundreds of dollars in positive. But even just from yesterday to now. $33 positive. And what that means is that I did have some impermanent loss. You can see I started with 122 ETH and now um, I am down about 1.684 ETH, but I'm up 8,124 Ys. That is because people uh, bought some Ys. So, so they 
or no, 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 they sold some Ys. So they, they sold some Ys, so I have more Ys in my pair and a little bit less ETH. However, the trading fees completely negated that so that even my tiny little amount of from permanent loss was negated by the fact that I was earning fees and I'm actually up $33 in value. So this is just from impermanent loss. So what that means is if you are just holding wise, if you're just holding wise, your risk to the downside is is 22% versus ether. You might lose 22% versus ether. However, if you are liquidity providing, it's actually impossible to lose any value versus ether. Yeah, you might end up with more wise than than ether than you started, but you can easily swap that back when you're done and you will still have more value in ether than than you started. And this is just from the this is just from liquidity provider fees. That's not even counting this extra quick swap rewards that are on top of this. And quick swap isn't the only one offering uh, great rewards like this. Although I think quick swap is currently the best one. So now let's switch over to net market gains. And you can see that the since yesterday, the price of Ether has gone up. It's actually new all-time highs right now. And from market gains, I gained $15,900. Um, so see, liquidity pool from fees alone, I only gained $33 because I lost a little bit from a permanent loss. I gained some from fees. So in one day, I made $33 uh, from fees but net market gains from the price of Ether going up and the price of uh, Wise going up, 15,900. Now, of course, this is a big pool. This is $560,000. However, th this ratio, this ratio would be exactly the same. So 2.92%, just gain 3%. It wouldn't matter if I had $1,000 in here, $500 in here, or $10 million in here. It's the same ratio everybody in the pool gets the same ratio the same is to be said for the liquidity the the liquidity providing you would get the same ratio so um now let's compare that to quickwise now quickwise pays more so you you pay more however the price of the um the price of the quick token actually went down um, you can see it's down 12 percent and so if we look at our permanent loss down 12 percent you know, it, we lost a little bit of value, and so we're down $120, just ever so slightly um, from fees. You, you see, barely, it's just about break even. Even in the net market gains, I'm actually down $4,700 because the price of quick is down. So you can see the difference between um, it, the ETH wise pair, which is extremely safe, and the quick wise pair. Now, am I worried about this? No, I'm not for two reasons. First of all, because look at my quick rewards of that $4,700 that I lost. Well, I really didn't lose that much because I got quick rewards. That's over $1,000 of quick rewards right there. And second of all, I, I, I believe this is going to recover. So I think a lot of people traded their quick swap in uh, for Ether. And, uh, and and because Ether is hitting all-time high, so people are FOMOing into Ether, I think that is the reason for the dip, and I think this will correct back up to uh, to where it was in, in, in short order, but it's still a higher risk than before, and you can see the difference between invest, uh, investing in an extremely safe pair versus, uh, versus, the, uh, versus pairs that aren't backed by each other. So because, so, Wise is the only asset, only crypto asset that is backed by Ether, and therefore it's the only one that has this kind of safety that protects you 100% from that impermanent loss. So I would definitely recommend that. However, um, just so you know, on this quick exchange right here, th these are quick rewards. This is quick swap. Quick swap is going to reward the quick wise pair more even even though it's riskier because that's their token that like the quick token is their token so currently we have 4 million on ethwise a lot of people like that more and only 1 million on quickwise if we can get this to 2 million they have uh, given us targets uh, saying basically they'll give us 50 quick per day on each pair now that's not a promise that's an estimate but that's double what we're getting right now um, so that would be pretty awesome and uh, getting, you know, 15 more on this pair would be pretty awesome as well. well. Well, we should get even more than 50 since the target was 3 million and we actually got it to 4 million. 
Um, so just so you know, like they obviously care about this one more. They're, they will treat us nicer if we put more in this pair. And that's why I'm participating in this pair. I was participating a little bit heavier. Um, I had to cash out a little bit to, to, uh, to pay for some advertising. But definitely make sure that you are putting at least some into the quick wise pair as well, just so that we can up, uh, unlock those uh, bigger rewards. But that is liquidity providing. So if you're a liquidity provider, you wanna consider, first of all, what exchange are you gonna be on? You wanna pick an exchange that has extra rewards for their pairs. You wanna pick an exchange that, that does that because yes, you can make a lot of money just on fees alone. You can make some, hundreds of percent ROI. If we go to, um, if we go to all pools, this, uh, well, it if, let's go to seven days. You see, look, the, the USDC wrapped ETH pair, super safe pair, um, is making 50% total APY. Um, that's that's really, really, really good. Stablecoin pair making 39% APY. These are great APYs. You can make APYs just off fees alone, but when you have extra rewards, that just is really the gravy on top. Like making... 75% ROI on your on your on your uh, ETH. That's incredible. Now this is less than 75% now because so many added. They update these every Sunday, um, so they they will bring it back up to that 75% ROI, and that is better than any other way you can invest your ETH and and earn interest safely. Um, there's there's just no other way. Like even staking on on the Ethereum 2.0 network, that's like max 15% if you run your own node and you're super lucky. So 75% for that is is absolutely incredible. Um, so I hope that was insightful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or also come on to our Telegram uh, Wise Token and Telegram. Uh, ETH wise, wherever you can find it on QuickSwap or, or any other swap um, is the safest pair that you could ever do. Um, it Just the fees alone will cover your impermanent loss. And if there's extra rewards on top of that, like you can see here, that is just such a win-win. So don't miss out on that. And if you're doing this on QuickSwap, make sure that you're investing in the quick wise pair as well. It does pay more and it a little bit riskier, but there's a lot greater rewards to, to be had. So thank you so much for watching. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed on the way out. And I will see you in the next video.